Good evening, welcome. It's gala night. It's the 27th and we're here and we're getting ready to work on our main course. If you've chosen the Osobugo, I'm gonna tell you what went into it and then how we played it. So first things first, I'm gonna grab the veal, which now obviously we're not showing you how we did this today because this is like a two and a half hour cooking process. Uh, it's a braise and braise takes time, low and slow. I'm sure you've heard that term before. So this is it cold. We're gonna show you that round bone. That's that oso buco. That's what that refers to in Italian, round bone. From the pan, we're gonna grab that really nice red wine sauce with all that mirepoix vegetable. Mirepoix vegetable is a fancy French word for the holy trilogy of any base of any dish. In Italian, it's called sofrito. We've done the addition of uh, rosemary, tomato, red wine, and mushrooms to enhance the flavor. We're gonna add a little bit of water. What's gonna happen is the water is gonna evaporate while warming that up concentrating the sauce and glazing it. This is gonna go in your oven, 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Really what you're looking to do here is get it nice and hot. It's already cooked. So ideally you just want a nice hot piece of meat to go on top of those hot potatoes. Unravel that guy and you can see the steam and the happiness happening there. So we got this guy hot, it's nice and tender, warm all the way through, so he's good to go. We made a classic mashed potato, cooked them down, Good amount of butter and heavy cream, touch of good salt, Malden salt, and horseradish. We're using the horseradish to cut through the richness of that shank. We're gonna finish that with a little glazed carrot and gremolata. That is uh, equal parts of Italian parsley, lemon zest, Malden salt, touch of garlic and oil. And that is gonna go right on top of the shank to it once again, cut through the richness of the dish, balance it all out. And the trick when you're warming things up is always just put a dash of water so that it actually kind of helps the, the heat, it creates a little bit of steam, and the water will evaporate away. So we have the rich vegetables in our sauce, really cooked down. They've been stewed and braised, so they have a lot of flavor. But I want to bring something that's bright to the dish. So we're going to do a nice glazed carrot. Knob of butter, touch of water. There's a little bit of mold and salt. Sugar and the water will create kind of like a simple syrup of sorts. And we're going to drop our turned carrot into that. And you can see as it's warming up and cooking how the water is evaporating and it's actually glazing. The sugar and the, the fat from the butter are now coating the carrot. It's giving it a nice shine. It's gonna sweeten it up and take something that's quite simple and make it rather delicious. Okay, so he's ready. So we finished glazing our carrots. We have that nice shiny coat on there. It's all happy. Uh, these are all the components for this dish. So we're gonna move to the plate show you how to plate this bad boy up uh, for your gala evening.